Hey guys, hope you're all well. Time for my Blu ray and DVD collection for 2024 and part one of horror. So let's get into it. Sorry about the angle. So, at first, we have 28 Days Later. Uh, yeah, good little zombie film, of course, from 2002 with Killian Murphy, Naomi Harris. Really enjoy that a lot. Up next, we have the sequel, 28 Weeks Later, from 2007. Um, yeah, really enjoyed this film a lot with uh, Robert Carlyle, Rose Byrne, Jeremy Renner. Um, yeah, really good film, of course. I love um, some more uh, good old zombie horror films. Up next, we have the classic Adams Family from 1991. Um, yeah, with um, Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd, uh, Val Julia, and Christina Ricci. Absolute classic. Then we have the sequel, Adams Family Values from 1993. Um, yeah, I like this film a lot. <laughs> um, they get a baby brother who they absolutely can't get along with. But they end up getting along with him in the end. But I enjoyed it. Um, Joan Cusack is in that. Next we have um, Annabelle Creation from uh, 2017. Um, yeah, a really good film. Of course, um, part of the Conjuring universe. Need to get the other... I think I'm missing a few of them, actually. I think I need to get more. Um, yeah, I need to get the other two Annabelles and the the latest um, the the latest um, Conjuring film. I haven't got that yet. Next, we have Candyman, of course. Classic from 1992 with uh, Virginia Madsen and Tony Todd. Really good film, that. I love the Candyman series. Then we have Candyman Farewell to the Flesh from 1995. Then we have Candyman Day of the Dead from uh, 1999. Then we have uh, Candyman from 2021, which I really, really love. I love this film. Absolutely fantastic, and I think it picks up where the four, the first one ends. I'm not really sure, but I like the, I like the uh, Candyman film. Next, we have Carrie, of course, classic from uh, nineteen seventy six with uh, Sissy Spacek and John Travolta. Wasn't a fan of the remake. Next, we have Casper from 1995, a classic, of course, with Christina Ricci, Bill Perlman, um, Kathy Moriarty, and Eric Idle. Ah. Ah. I can't get it back in. And ah, it's the Chucky series, that's why it's in the way. Next, we have Chucky, of course. Um, yeah, good films. Um, love my uh, Chucky series. Um, I used to be a big fan of Chucky, but then I kind of went off him. But it's a, it's a good series, though, from what I remember. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed Chucky. Uh, it's not... Easy getting these in, isn't it? Oh, got it yet? Oh, Casper. Oh, this is not easy. Um, can we get back to here now? Yeah. Up next, we have Cockneys versus Zombies from 2012. Uh, yeah, good little sort of zombie comedy horror uh basically it's uh short of the dead mixed 
with um, Lockstock. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this film a lot. Bit of a ripped apart, that one. Anyway, continuing on, we have Conjuring from 2013. Uh, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this film a lot from with uh, Vera Farmiga and uh, Patrick Wilson, of course, as um, two private investigators, the Lorraine and Ed Warren. I can't get these back in. Oh. oh, this is tight. There we go. And then we have the sequel from 2016, I believe. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this as well. Um, I love the current, uh, the nun character in this. Who's there? Uh, very creepy. I actually dressed up as the nun for Halloween one time. Right then, I'm going to move the ladder. Oh shit, I should have gone off the first shelf. I should have went off the first um first step instead of just the second. Uh, anyway, that's continuing. Actually, can we reach up here actually now? Yeah, let's see if we can get up here. So up next we have Cunt the Cujo. Uh classic of course from uh, 1986 with uh I can't think of the actors' names. Is it 86 or... I'm guessing it's 86. Hang on. It's very hard to do with one hand. 83, not 86. Uh, yeah, good little film about uh, Killer St. Bernard. 83, I need to remember that. Next we have uh, The Curse of La Laruna. A uh, great film, again, from the Conjuring Universe. I'm guessing it's part of the Conjuring Universe. I really enjoyed this film in 2019. I really enjoyed that. Next, we have Dead Silence, of course, from uh, 2006. Uh, yeah, really good sort of horror film um, about, like, killing killer puppets like a, a widow or ghost. I believe it's uh, about this, um, about this, like, this wife gets murdered and she comes back to haunt her husband. And um, there's a lot of puppets in the house. So it's a bit like, I think Saw, but without Billy the Puppet. Um, because it's actually from the creators of Saw. Very good film. I liked it a lot. Next we have Dead Snow. Of course, a great film from 2009. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed that a lot. Up next, we have Deep Blue Sea from uh, 1999 with Thomas Jane, LL Cool J, Michael Rappaport and Samuel Jackson. Of course, Samuel Jackson gets killed off in a brutal scene. Great film, that. Um, up next, we have Carl Urban and The Rock in Doom. Uh, yeah, good film, of course, from 2005. Yeah, Roseman Pike. Is also in that. Very good. Next we have Escape Room. Um, yeah, good film, of course, from the director of Insidious The Last Key. I haven't seen any of those. I probably will one day. Um, good film from 2019. Need to get the second one. I haven't got that yet. Oh, my fucking arm is killing me. Oh, oh, oh God. Right. I just showed that All right onto the F's now. Up next, we have Fertile Ground. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed this film a lot from, uh, God, 2001? Oh, 2010, I think. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed this film a lot, um, After Dark Originals. Um, I know my neighbours have got that in their collection on DVD. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. Okay, next we have my Friday the 13th films. Friday the 13th, the original from 1980, uh, classic. The one without Jason Voorhees in there. 
Then we have Friday the 13th Part 2 from 20... No, from 1981. The first one to feature Jason, of course. Um, then we have Part 3 from 80, 1982. The, the final chapter from uh, 1984 part five a new beginning from 1985 i believe this is the one where it's got the wrong uh oh, it's not that one i got one of these in here that hasn't got a a rock like the wrong number on the case on the dvd oh, i think this is the one part six jason lives for 1986 this is the one that's got the wrong yeah there you go why has he got that one on there this must have been a re this cover must have been a reprint so they got the wrong disc certification on there but it's all right um okay moving on um seven the new blood from 1988 I like the old 18 certificates. I miss the Elms. Um, they've changed them up a bit again now since there, since the last time. And we have part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan from uh, 1989. Then we have Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday from 1993 and uh, finally we have Jason X from um, 2002 so that's my Friday the 13th collection so I'm going to move the ladder and then I'll end on the H's I think for part one so yeah, so let's get over here for the next lot of horror. So up next, we have Halloween, classic, of course, from 1978 with um, Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Donald Pleasance. Halloween 2 from 1981, of course, classic. I love the opening theme to that. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which I haven't seen yet, but looking forward to watching that. Then we have Halloween from 2018. And then we have Halloween Kills from 2020. And I'll have to pick up the rest of those to complete that collection. Next, we have Hellraiser, classic, of course, from 1987. Really love the Hellraiser movie. Again, I need to pick up the second one. Next, we have the classic Hocus Pocus from 1993. Uh, classic Bette Midler. Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy and Jimmy. I really would love to see the second one release on Blu-ray. Hopefully soon. Okay, I'm going to end on the H's for this one. So let's end on Hostel. Um, classic, of course, from 2005. Really enjoyed the Hostel films. My dad wasn't really a fan of these. He was quite shocked. Um, part 2... From 2007 and uh, part three from 2011. So there you go. That's part one of horror. So up next will be part two. So thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I'll see you.